the Supreme Court today uh, did not block the Texas abortion law. It left it in place for now. But it agreed to hear arguments uh, in the case in a very, on a very uh, speeded up basis on November 1st. Um, and what the court is going to decide is whether the federal government has the right to sue Texas over this abortion law. No Texas worries. bans abortion at roughly six weeks when cardiac activity is detected in the fetus. Other states have passed similar laws, uh, but those laws have been blocked by, by federal courts. This law is different because the way it's enforced is different. Rather than have state officials enforce the law, Texas allows private citizens to sue to enforce the law. And by doing that, it has so far avoided review in federal court. The justices have said very little so far about this case and about this latest stage of it, except that Justice Sotomayor did file a, a brief dissenting opinion today in which she said the, the law is, is plainly unconstitutional and the court should have stepped in to block it immediately. Uh, in early September, when an earlier challenge by the abortion providers uh, over this same law came before the Supreme Court, there were four justices who would have blocked it then, at least while the court proceedings, uh, until the court proceedings were, were resolved. It was uh, Justice Sotomayor and Justices Kagan and Breyer, the two other liberal members of the court, along with the Chief Justice. And what the Chief Justice said at the time was, the Texas law was so unusual, and in fact he called it unprecedented, that the better course of action would be to just block it while the court sorted out you know, whether the law could be allowed to stand. But that was a minority view on the court. There were not five votes to block it, and the law was allowed to take effect. And except for a brief 48-hour period in early October, the law has been in effect since September 1st.